Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This is an English translation of the Majlis of Hazrat Maulana Kamaru Zaman Sahib Damad Barakat, which took place on Wednesday, the 27th of Zulkada, 14. The 28th, 28th of Zulkada, 1445, corresponding with the English date, the 5th of. June the fifth of June uh, twenty twenty four. The Hazarwara has the last and the final maktub of the Maktubate Masumia that you are writing to me regarding being unable to achieve some uh, material things. Allah Ta'ala jo karta hai, wo behtar hai. Tamam umur ko Allah Ta'ala ke supurud kar do. Or maaddi ashiya ke husul mein khama khama shakkat majji lo. Whatever Allah has done, He has done well. Rather hand all matters over to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And these things of the dunya do not undergo difficulty in achieving it. Whatever is going to come your way will come your way. Do not finish yourself in that. Now you worried about this and worried about that. I didn't achieve this, I didn't get that. And the other, the list goes on. In all of that your mort comes. Allah Ta'ala ke zikr, zikr Allah Ta'ala apne zikr mein daim aur qaim rakhe. Allah Ta'ala keep us continuous and uh, perpetual in his uh, zikr. And in, in that type of age, when a person is towards his end of his life, he should not even mention such th things like this must not even be mentioned to him. Now in all this type of things that occupy the mind and the heart, Allah Ta'ala take us out from there, completely clean and pure. In that state, Allah Ta'ala should call us to Him. Asa ke ghair, mere khana e dil mein kaise, ke khiyale rukhe daldar, darban apna. How can anyone other than Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala ever enter and penetrate my heart? When the thought of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala itself is actually the guard at the gate of my heart. Allahu Akbar. His zikr, his remembrance doesn't allow anything or anyone to enter and penetrate into my heart. This is a very, very great personality, Hazrat Khaja Muhammad Masoom, coming from the family of Hazrat Shah Waliullah. E Khana Hama Aftabast. What to say about this family? Each and every one of them were great luminaries. You know, Hakim Fakhruddin, when his Khutub Khana was given to Hazrat Manana Shah Wasiullah Sahib, on that occasion, I don't even think Hazrat Manana Shah Wasiullah Sahib mentioned this to anyone. He said to me, See, this Khutub Khana, do you know why it's being handed over to us? Now, who can even answer in front of Hazrat Manana Shah Wasiullah Sahib? Then he went on to say that, I mean, he was a very great person, Hakim Fakhruddin. He was the Khalif of Hazrat Haji Imdadullah. But what was he trying to say? He was trying to say that there was no one to read it. There was no one to read all those kitab of his. Eventually, it was then distributed and given away. So he went on to say that, listen, these kitabs of mines and this Kutub Khana of ours now, the same thing should not happen to it. Now, Hazarwala is going on to say, this is my work day and night. My loving and my dying, I've got kitabs at my head side and I'm always reading and studying. You know, at that time when the wife was still alive, Hazarwala is speaking, Ghar mein se, then I would stand up to lying down there, eyes would open at night, now stand up to just go and pick up a kitab or something and she would say, why are you standing? Why are you doing this and going like that? It's greatly possible that you may fall. Meaning, be careful. To yaad rakko, hamari izzat. Remember well that our izzat, 
ایمان اور معرفت کے ساتھ وابستہ ہے اٹ از کنیکٹڈ ٹو ایمان اینڈ دا ریکگنیشن آف اللہ سبحان و تعالی مال و جا کے ساتھ نہیں اٹ از ناٹ کنیکٹڈ ٹو ویلتھ اینڈ اسٹیٹس فیم تکمیل ایمان میں کوشش کرو اسٹرائیو ان پرفیکٹنگ ایمان اور مراتب معرفت حاصل کرنے میں پوری جد جد و جہد کرو اینڈ لیو نو اسٹون ان ٹرنڈ ان اسینڈنگ دا ڈفرنٹ اسٹیجز آف معرفت اینڈ ریکگنیشن آف اللہ سبحان ہو و تعالی نہ اٹ از فار دس ایمان اینڈ دس معرفت ٹو ریٹین اٹ اینڈ کیپ اٹ از وائی وی کیری آؤٹ دا ذکر آف اللہ سبحان ہو و تعالی آن ون ون اوکیژن After the Maghrib Salat, I mean, we used to make zikr. Hazrat Maulana Shah Basiullah Sah passed by and he was absolutely delighted in seeing the spectacle of us engaged in the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He came into the house and he said to the daughters, being absolutely delighted that see, they're making zikr. On one occasion, Hazrat Wala is speaking about when we were studying Shari Jami, Then Hazrat Maulana Shah was Siyullah Sahib said, I'm going to give you people imtihan. Now Maulana Jami Sahib was also there. And we all started learning and studying and thinking in our minds, Hazrat will be so happy seeing that we're studying and making so much of mehnat. Going, passing by us this way, that way. Eventually he stopped and he said to us, I'm watching you people for so many hours now. In all this time, you are so occupied. with your kitabs did you not find any time in all of this time did you could you not even take out some time for the dhikr of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now this these places are places of dhikr this masjid and this madrasa and my wish and desire is that the dhikr of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should continue in these places la ma'buda illa allah there is no deity worthy of worship other than Allah. La maqsooda illa Allah. There is no goal and objective in life other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is isi ka mashq araya chata hai. This, this mashq and this exercise and this repetition of this kalima over and over it is done. Hazrat Mujaddid Al-Faitani done it. Hazrat Khaja Muhammad Masoom done it. So we're speaking about ma'rifat. Man arafa nafsahu, arafa rabbahu. The one who truly recognizes himself will truly recognize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah ta'ala become pleased with us. Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib began crying on one occasion. When we seen his hal, we also began crying, understanding definitely his time is up now and he's about to leave this dunya. Nevertheless, Allah Ta'ala granted to him shifa and thereafter he said, Myself, I was thinking that this is my last moments. But at that time I turned my attention to Allah and I asked Allah, give me some respite and some time so that I can prepare myself and then present myself to you. Allahu Akbar. It is greatly possible that this majlis of ours also is the our final majlis. So shaitan comes about. He tries to intercept a person at the time of death. He's going to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nafs is there. But what is it? It is the stawheed khalis. Hazrat Maulana Shah wa Siyullah Sahib stawheed khalis. لا إله إلا الله. You know, Allah Taala give us the tawfiq and hidayat of keeping this maktub in front of us. Khaja Muhammad Masoom came and he put such a glow and a shine to the talimat of his illustrious father. Rather, he brought the talimat of his father to fruition and completion. No matter how much you praise these pious personalities, it will not be enough. Nevertheless, Allah Ta'ala make our manla and our matter on that side when we meet Him. He make it correct and let it be all in place. 
Allah Ta'ala, give us, grant us emancipation from this dunya and bless us with fikr and concern for the akhirat. Allahumma ardina wa anna. Oh Allah, please us. Let us be pleased with your hukam, with your takdeer, with ahkam shariat. Wa anna and you be pleased with us. This is a very, very special dua. O oh Allah, do not look at our evil actions. Do not look at our wrong deeds. Nevertheless, this ma'rifat and this iman that our izzat is connected to, no matter how much of difficulty we have to undergo in this year, in achievement of this great maqsad, maqsad ala, that's how good it will be for us. It comes in the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, jo shakhs, apne tamam ghamo ko, ek gham, yani gham mein akhirat bana dega, Allah ta'ala is ke tamam ghamo ko dur kar dega. That the person who turns all his worries, sorrows and griefs into one grief, one worry, one sorrow, and that is the worry and the fikr, ghame akhirat. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will then bless him by removing all his other griefs, worries, problems, and sorrows. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Al ajzu fakhri, that humility and the expression of helplessness in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is my pride. And this is most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hazrat Khaja Muhammad Masoom said that somebody was waiting in the line of Tilawat and another in the line of Zikr, etc. All trying to enter the grand court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I adopted complete and total ajizi, humility, lowliness, humbleness, expression of helplessness in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I reached, rather I entered the grand court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while everybody was still waiting outside. Allah ta'ala become pleased with us and allow us to carry out those deeds will bring, that will bring about His pleasure. Allah ta'ala bring uh, to us, bless us with yaksui. That means that everything else to be removed and it is only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our hearts. Nevertheless, this came in my heart and in my mind and I passed it over to you. Allah ta'ala accept it from us. Allah ta'ala show us the straight path. Allow us to walk it. Bless us with his love and his nisbat. ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم بحرمة سيد النبي الكريم صلى الله عليه وسلم